Happy birthday to everybody at Performance. Awesome. Congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause. It's really neat. Um, I got up this morning and was so excited to speak, I forgot to put on my belt. So, uh, from... <laughs> and then I thought, you know, I, I'll put a couple thoughts down in my Palm Pilot and I'll just get up here and talk to you. And then I realized Kate Burgess was going to be speaking after me, so I thought, I've got to do a pretty good job here. And uh, I don't know what kind of job I'll do, but I want to speak from the heart about what the performer relationship has meant to Nicolay. Um, and maybe I'll start uh, at the end and then go back to the beginning. Our relationship with Performa and our relationship with many people um, kind of stands in defiance of the idea that you can't be friends and mutual uh, uh, customers with each other. Um, we got the whole network going here, and it doesn't, uh, contrary to sort of the vague popular myth that's out there, th what people call a conflict of interest or a web or a network or whatever, doesn't create opportunities for corruption as much as it does mutual accountability. So friendship's worth it. It's worthwhile investing in people that you know and that you trust, that's critical to, and seeking out the kind of people who understand what you can do. And that's kind of the story of our relationship with Performa. Uh, Mike Daniels, myself, and 300 of our closest friends decided in 2000 to start a bank. And, uh, you know, I guess I was 42 years old, and Mike was even younger, and you're old enough to think you know what you're doing and not old enough to know what you don't know. And so you kind of launch ahead. And uh, we got off to a pretty good start, but there were some bumps along the way. And along about 2002, we, we had had a vision, by the way, and to all of you who are entrepreneurs, and a lot of you are, you know, there's lots of things to running a business, but having a vision of what you're trying to do and why is central to it. We kind of envisioned this thing as a network of, of people, customers, owners, depositors, and people who work at the bank trying to kind of push the pile in a positive direction. Um, it wasn't a building vision, but actually there was sort of a vague vision of a building, and it was actually from the beginning on the site where our downtown headquarters is in Green Bay, even though that had been a vacant parking lot for 25 years. So we got up, got going, and we're making a little bit of money and feeling pretty good, and we're growing, and we know we're going to run out of space. We're in that little place across from the mire where Imaginasium is now, and uh, the organization is growing a lot. And Mike Daniels and I decided it was time to build a building, and we talked about who we should call. And I said, why not call Konzelberger? You know, he's probably, you know, his, his, his daughter and my daughter are friends, and we kind of know each other. Let me call him. So I call him, and I'm like, I think I'm bringing him some good news. Hey, we're going to build a building. I'd like you to design it. That was what I thought. And he was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I don't know if you need to build a building. What? <laughs> don't you get paid to design buildings? And uh, that conversation, as you will notice with people at Performa, it always drives to a deeper level about who you are, what's going to go on in the space, um, and what you're trying to do for your customers. Um, what I don't think it's unique, that's an overused word, but they totally get, uh, even though they're architects and engineers, it's not about them building a build, designing and building a building. It's about them understanding the organization, its culture, what you're trying to do, the activities that need to go on in that space, so that when something is built, if it's built, it is a legitimate physical manifestation of what the business is. And after two grueling years of having Konzelberger and Doug and Netzel and everybody, <laughs> get inside our heads. They were totally inside our heads and um, in a very, very positive way. Literally, I can tell you by the time I saw the first draft of that building, I think, I don't remember exactly, but Daniels and I were sitting there and we were like, yeah, that's it. It was kind of that simple, wasn't it? And so that willingness to challenge us and to push the conversation to a deeper level has characterized our relationship in every way. And um, we're very, very grateful for, uh, for having that kind of relationship with, with, with Performa, with Jeff, with so many of you here at Performa. Um, 
you know, we always call you guys and you try to push us a little bit. Nets will kind of try to put a bright tin roof on the branch into pier, which <laughs> I drove by it on my way to work and I said, Witsack, what's that? And uh, Witsack was like, well, what is that? <laughs> what do you mean, Bob? Well, there's like shiny tin roof on our branch into pier. I guess Brian, he just told me this story. Witsack said that Brian said, well, that was the little surprise I was holding for you. <laughs> Anyway, I've kind of gotten used to it. It looks kind of nice. It looks okay, doesn't it? I mean, I, it's, it, <laughs> okay, it looks good. Okay. At least there's 60 million of deposits there that I feel real good about. But <laughs> anyway, um, uh, um, anyway, just want to say happy birthday and thank you and uh, get out of your way and let Kate Burgess get up here. How about that? Or, well, no, you don't get Kate yet. You get Doug Page.